hello good morning students so as you know already your syllabus is over for evs so today i'm just going to revise the chapter number 17 and 18 also so i'm starting from chat chapter number 17 across the wall as you know this chapter across the wall which is already means which is also based on gender biasness or you can say gender sensitivity means how our society is going to make a wall between the two types of genders male and female so now we want to see how we can overcome this problem from our society so our first question was what do people play there who plays there so you have to answer it is already mentioned here do yourself so you have to study the chapter properly and you have to answer the question what do people play there means the people which kind of game is playing there and who plays there who are playing next question was that did anyone help you and encourage you to play so what kind of game they were playing any people from outside they have encouraged the people to play such type of games or not so this answer also you have to write by yourself if you think they were playing the games after getting encouraged by the other peoples you have to mention and if you think no just the people who are playing the game by themselves only by encouraging themselves mean themselves only so then you have to write that also next question number three do girls and boys play different types of games in your school or neighborhood if yes then which games do the boys play and which do the girls play so if you think or if you have seen in your school or your neighborhood the boys and girls are playing different types of games then you have to mention but if you have not seen such type of games they are playing means different games they are playing then no need to mention what you have seen accordingly you have to write but if you have seen boys and girls are playing different types of games then you have to mention which type of games are being played by the boys as well as the girls next question number four do girls and uh, do you think that there is any difference between the games and the way they are played by boys and girls answer is yes there are some differences between the games played by the boys and the girls. Boys prefer those games which require more physical activity. And the, the game can be played together. On the other hand, girls play those games which need less physical activity. So this is the basic difference of games are played by the boys and girls. Next question, 5. While playing in a team, would you like to play for yourself or for the team? Why? This answer also you have to write by yourself. And what or in which way you are thinking, in that way only you will write. If you think you will play for yourself only, then you have to mention the reason also. And if you think you have to play the game for your team also, then also you have to mention your reason. Next question number 6. Is your team like the team Afsana played with at Sholapur or like the Nakpada team? And how? So answer, answer is like this way. Our team is like the Nakpada team. 
members of the Nagpada team respect and encourage each other that we have learnt already from the chapter. They don't insult any member on his or her weakness. There is great understanding and cooperation among the team members. Like the Nakpada team, we want our team to excel in all conditions and be successful. Next, question number 7. What would happen if girls are not allowed to play games? to study or do some other work of their choice. So answer will be like this. If girls are not allowed to play games, to study or to do some work of their choice, it will not be good for girls. The girls will not be able to release their potential or realize basically, the girls will not be able to realize their potential as their talent will be suppressed. It will also hamper their mental and physical growth. Next question number 8. Have you heard of any women players? Name them and the games they played. Already students you have done one activity. The players basically the women players who are related with different types of games so you have to name the players for this question and with which game they are accompanied with or with which game they are related to you have to mention the name of the game also next question number nine in which areas other than sports have heard of women getting recognition so not only the sports, you have to mention the different parts also in or different areas also where women go, are getting recognized by their work. It may be in WBCS work or in different uh, areas which are very means famous areas, government jobs they are doing in different posts. In higher posts or you can say the um, other not only or only political parts they are getting recognized by the political parts also you can mention or different areas are also there not only the political parts or government or jobs are like that any different part you can mention except sports next question number 10 the newspaper report said Apsana has jumped over the wall, the gender wall that her mother had put up for her. Think and write in your own words, what was this wall? What do you understand by gender bias? Very important question, this one. Question number 10. Gender bias means differential treatment for boys and girls. In many families in India, girls are not allowed to study, to play and to opt a career for their choice. Apsana has also suffered some degree of gender bias. Her mother wants her to do household course only. By managing to go to play in an act of bravery by Apsana, she is trying to cross the symbolic wall of gender bias. The wall has been put by her mother. Next question number 11. Should the games for boys and girls be different? Think and write what you feel. So if you think the games will be different for boys and girls, you have to mention that with the reason. And if you do not think in such a way, then also you have to mention with reason. Last question number 12. If you are made the leader of a team, how will you prepare your team? So basic features or basic characteristics of a leader, good leader, you have to know. If 
I were made the leader of a team, I would prepare my team like the Nakpada team. For this, we will focus on the following things. The points you have to remember. Team members will be encouraged to play with hard work and honesty. They should understand and respect each other and maintain unity. They should support each other. They should never insult team members even if someone does a mistake. They should understand the value of cooperation and team spirit. They should exercise and practice on a regular basis. Question number one. Imagine how it feels to leave one's own place and go far away to live in a new place. So you have to think and write. It is uh, very difficult to leave one's own place and live far away at a new place. This is because there is nobody with whom we can share our feelings, problems and other matters. Thus, it feels very bad and sad to leave our own place. You just think by yourself from your corner. Just if you think you just think in such a way, if you have to leave your house and you have to go to leave means if you have to go to other place for living then how you will feel and that way you have to answer you have to share your own feelings with us question number two why do you think families like that of jatriyas are coming to big cities answer is like this the families like that of jatriya often come to big cities due to poverty to earn more money and live a better life there may also be many problems with them in the village for example sometimes due to scanty rainfall there is not much profit from the farms sometimes they are asked to leave they are villages by the government or private companies because of the construction of factories or dams, etc. Thus, they are forced to come to big cities. Question number three. In Khedi village, what all did children learn? So, in Khedi village, what are the things learned by the children? You have to mention by yourself. After studying the chapter properly. Next question number four. What do you learn from your elders? So what are the things you have learned from your elders? So you have to mention point files. Next question number five. Many forests in the Jatriya's village did not agree to move away their land and forest. Why? They had to leave even though they did not want to. So answer is like this. Many people of Jatriya's village did not want to leave their land and forest because it was their grandfather's land first of all. And they had many old members associated means old memories basically not members. They had many old memories associated with that place basically. We may have also lot of old memories with our means places in which we are associated. But still they had to leave from that place because they were ordered to leave the village by the government officials along with the police. Moreover, they were promised that they will be shifted to a much better where there will be electricity, water, etc. Next, question number six. Think of the kind of difficulties people have to face where a dam is being built. The answer is, people have to face many difficulties at the place where a dam is being built 
such as their houses, farms, etc. are all destroyed. They are promised to be given some compensation by the government but sometimes they have to face many difficulties in getting their compensation. They are given new houses to live but they are not as good as were told to them. They have electricity but it remains for few hours only. They are, there are taps, no water. The other people treat the village people as poor, uneducated and inferior. Next question number 7. What difference he find between Sinduri and his dreams village? The difference that he found in Sinduri village and his dream village as are as follows. Number 1. He thought that his house in the new village would have electricity, water in taps and all basis or all basic things. But it was not so in Sinduri village. There was no electricity but it was just very difficult to pay the heavy bills. There were taps but no water. Number 2. There was no place for keeping the animals. Number 3. They were given land for farming but it was not good for farming. It was filled with stones and pebbles. Number 4. There was school but the teacher did not pay attention to the children from Kedi village. These children found it difficult to learn in a new language. Number 5. There were doctors but they were not available on time. Number 6. The people of Sinduri village also treated them as unwanted guests and found their language and way of living strange and made fun of them. Next question number 8. Some people say that city people do not create garbage. Cities are dirty because of slums. How do you feel about it? Discuss and debate between yourselves. It is incorrect to say that city people do not create garbage. It is because slums, this is because in the cities are responsible for shifting the village people to the cities. They construct dams, factories, etc. in the villages and force the villagers to empty those places. The villagers are not provided proper houses in the cities. They are just given small butts with no proper provision for toilet and bathing. As a consequence, these poor people are forced to use the roads and drains for this purpose. This causes dirty and foul smelling areas. So actually, the difficult situations in, the, in, the, in which they are forced to live are responsible for this. On the other hand, the city people causes a lot of pollution due to the vehicles, factories, etc. Thus, the given statement is incorrect. People also, next question number 9. People also shift from one place to another when they get transferred in their jobs. How do they feel then? So, you have to answer by yourself. If people also shift from one place to another, when they get transferred in their jobs, how do, they, how do they feel then? If your father or mother is also doing such type of jobs, transferable jobs, government jobs, then how do they feel then at the time of transfer? You can share, means this answer, question answer, you can uh, take the 
or you can gather your experience from them also like jatria's family question number 10 last question like jatria's family thousands of families come to stay in big cities for many different reasons do you think their life may be a better in a big city from what if from what it was before imagine how they feel in a big city answer when families like jatria's come to stay in big cities the life becomes very different from what it was before. They have to face many problems in these big cities such as Number 1. They are not provided proper houses in the big cities. They are just given small huts to stay, not hunts, it will be huts to stay with no proper facility for bathing and toilet. Number 2. They have the provision of electricity but it remains for only some time. Also they have to pay the electricity bills which they cannot afford. Number 3. They, there are taps but no wa water. But in place of waste you have to write water but no water. They have to pay for the water also. Number 4. They are not well qualified. Therefore, it was very difficult for them to get the good jobs. Even their children also have to work. Number 5. There are schools for the children but it is very difficult for them to understand the new language. Also, the teacher does not pay much attention to them. So, students, today up to this. Thank you. Visit again.